You ready? Ready? Let's go! At the money, now you're all what you getting in. Perfect Flex Radio, got them listening. Mike Knox, from Cena to The Rock, or whatever wrestler is hot. News and interviews, this a one-stop shop. Matter of fact, let me give you more... You can call in and be the voice with the voiceless. Shout out to the um the um almighty one himself, the executive uh, ex- uh, consultant, Chris. Thank you for that new intro. What y'all think? Uh, comment below. Let me know what y'all think of that. Uh, I'm CM Punk in the chat. He's a cancer to the locker room. I don't necessarily know that. I always say it's not always fair to hear what people say. Because when CM Punk was in WWE, it wasn't really that bad backstage. I think in every wrestling locker room, you're going to have people who like you and people who do not like you. You know what I mean? And I think um, people didn't like HH. People didn't like Macho Man. People didn't like Shawn Michaels. People didn't like Triple H. People didn't like Stone Cold, right? Everybody can't be, you know, me, Mark Callis, the Undertaker, and and pull everybody together. Everybody can't be that guy. So um, I think money talks. We all know the rest BS walks. So uh, I want to ask y'all guys this question because all week long, I have been offended by wrestling fans around the world. Trying to say how horrible of a champion Roman Reigns is. Now, I know War Games is coming up. I know I want to know who what you guys think about who the devil is. Okay. But I really want to know why y'all hate your tribal chief so damn much. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Now, I get Roman Reigns, your tribal chief, uh, what, 1,170 days today, only 55 title defenses. Is that why you hate him? Do you not know that you listen to Mike Knox? Then we already talked about earlier in the show, like my last segment, about if they were to get such a Dolph Ziggler and how they have other wrestlers that you don't see from time to time. They do what they want, when they want, how they want, because they book it that way. No wrestler should have to work 52 weeks a year. I don't care what any of you guys say. I get that you have a, a, a need to want to see what you want to see on TV. But if I saw Brock Lesnar every week, Brock Lesnar wouldn't be impressive to me anymore. Or not impressive, but I would just get bored with him. Wrestling fans, we want everything, but don't understand how we can't have everything. Right? I'll repeat it for you. We want every we want everything, but can't understand how we can't have everything. You, you know what I'm saying? You, you gotta understand it's a show. And what makes a show great is anticipation, it's excitement. Maverick did great for the excitement. Barbie did great for the excitement. Sonic did great for the excitement. Uh, Five Nights at Freddy did great for the excitement. Seeing Roman Reigns who's never had a boring match. I even saw this week. Oh my God, his matches are all the same. Woo! Somebody tell me one Ric Flair match didn't end with somebody cheating to help him win. Please tell me that. In Ric Flair's heyday, when did Ric Flair win an honest match? They're far in between. I don't want to hear the bullshit where he defended his title all the fucking time because guess what? That was the times, right? Used to be a time I didn't have to ask a lady, could I help her with her bag? I would just help her with her bag. I would call her sweetheart or honey bun or sweet cakes, whatever the case may be. (laughs) Maybe not sweet cakes, but you get what I'm trying to say. If you don't, then you just had to be there, okay? But now everything got to be instant gratification. Sorry, guys. I like my oatmeal cooked on the stove. I know that sometimes I can just put the hot water in the microwave, but I prefer my oats being oat, Okay? So what's HH, the immortal himself, 1474, 468 title defenses in that time? He didn't go against these guys? One, two, I'm going to say this on a limb. Jay Uso, Hall of Famer. Cody Rhodes will be a Hall of Famer. Seth Rollins, Hall of Famer. Bray Wyatt will be in the Hall of Fame within the next two years. Edge, Hall of Famer. The Yes Movement himself, Hall of Famer. Okay, Braun Strowman may not be a Hall of Famer, but the Hall of Fame is not always about the greats. It's about who they feel like putting in. But we're talking about greats. Everybody on this list so far is a Hall of Famer. There it is. You see it right there. Is it because he's had the title that many times? This many days? 
Roman Reigns as W Universal Champion has begun this record-breaking reign and milestone in many ways. The title reign started back at Payback 2020 when he defeated The Fiend. I just said that, didn't I, Bray Wyatt? And Braun Strowman in the triple threat match. We all remember that. He has held the title for more than three years. We're also unifying... I don't see H.H. unifying belts here at the WWE Championship at WrestleMania 38, which I was there live. Okay? Roman defeated, uh, defeated the title 55 times during this time span and has defeated several former world champions like Brock Lesnar, R uh, Edge, Kevin Owens, Randy, Ray Mysterio, Finn Balor, Drew McIntyre. This goes on and on and on and on and on and on to the break of dawn. Why do you hate Roman Reigns? R Roman Reigns. Why? The bloodline? Do you hate him for the bloodline? He, listen, tough love for your tribal chief through his cousins. He had to show them how to become champions. He had to show them how to become champions. Without them becoming champions, you wouldn't get your, it's me, oos. Day one is, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, mama. I'm sorry, kids. This is not PG today. I apologize. Okay. I love the Usos. I've been down with the Uluwake, Uluwake, ha, ha, from the beginning. Where you a face paint guy, I got the t-shirts. Holla at your boy, okay? But he made the Usos relevant again. They were the same things y'all were always liking, which y'all do in wrestling fans. Y'all didn't like them. Y'all didn't appreciate them. Y'all didn't, didn't appreciate the Usos until they got with the bloodline. Then he made main event Jay Uso because of Roman Reigns. A tag team match main event at WrestleMania. It wasn't because of him. It's because of Roman Reigns, your tribal chief. Usos, the longest reigning tag team titles in history because of their cousin, uncle, whatever you want to call it. Hold up the other family because it's a bloodline, right? Let's call up Solo from NXT to be the enforcer for me as well. Sami Zayn becomes an honorary Us. And then just a year ago today, or not today, but a year ago, he even won war games for your said tribal chief. Not only did he become the longest reigning universal champion of all the times, but he also holds the record for the longest single title run since Hogan himself from 84 to 87 overall. Listen, man, Roman Reigns is the WWE champion Goat. Hear what I'm saying when I say that? That's where you have to draw the line. Say he's the greatest of all time in WWE. I haven't said that. But he could be. But what I'm saying is, of all the champions there have ever been in WWE, all the champions, Roman Reigns is the greatest of all time. I don't care if you only defend the title 55 times in that time span. I don't care. I've done my homework this time. I'm, I'm here for the smoke. Okay. Them first couple years, Jay Uso, Braun Strowman, Jay Uso, Kevin Owens, Kevin Owens, Kevin Owens, Daniel Bryan, Daniel Bryan, Daniel Bryan, and Edge. I'm sorry. Pin him, stack him, pin him. I don't give a shit what you say. He beat two Hall of Famers and stacked them and picked them simultaneously at WrestleMania. Daniel Bryan again, Cesaro, who, I'm sorry, oh, Colito, uh, Esteval, whatever his damn name is, Rey Mysterio, Edge, John Cena, Finn Balor, Finn Balor the Demon, when no one, I get that match was kind of what it was, but he did, he still counts the victory, Brock Lesnar, Sami Zayn, Seth Rollins, but let's go back to them early years, September, October, October, December, December, January, January, March, March, April, April, May, June, July, August, September, September, October, December, January. I don't want to hear this man on the fitness title because I don't see him defend his title every single Monday. That's not what makes you a champion. Whether he's on TV or not, someone's picking up their phone saying, call my tribal chief. Last week on SmackDown, the real Uso, the Oscar award winner, if it goes to Jay, then the Emmy definitely goes to Jimmy Uso, the one that has for the main men young. Calling audibles did a hell of a bang up job because who said no yeet. Listen, people, the hate gotta stop. He is the greatest. I don't give a good god dog damn what you all have to say. Wake up and pay attention. 
to not give this man his credit. Y'all forget he's a two-time cancer survivor. If you had the power and the money and brought in the money he brought in, would you not like to tell your job you're only going to work 27 to 32 weeks out of 52 weeks a year? There's 52 weeks in a season, in a year. Professional wrestlers on average, back in the day, would wrestle 300 days a year out of 365. Wrestlers today probably wrestle about 265 days of their 365, if not more. Am I supposed to be mad that he only wrestles 180? Because he still does house shows. He does all the things that are important. Okay, HH, that was the 80s and the 90s. Things have changed. What made Crow Sting great was that he didn't wrestle for damn near a year before he came down from the rafters. Don't y'all understand that when it comes to booking? Hashtag wrestling is storyline it's that simple grand body p checking in my man blog talk radio the second longest running show in podcast history next to the best damn show on radio the mike knox show right here perfect plex talk radio unpop review so not a cheap pop because i pay for it okay if double r <laughs> roman reigns uh, was there all the time the world the, the world they, they would complain and call the bloodline uh, show just like they did with Triple H doing his reign of terror that's another one of my points intelligent wrestling fans think alike listen people y'all have to get with it okay uh, Roman's champion reign will, uh, will go down in history as one of the best when it's all said and done I don't know the way they talk the complaining that comes that he can't do this. He's not here enough of this time. It's this, it's that. Ah, oh, now the tribal chief, Mike Knoxon. Put the ones up in the chat. Igno Listen, I don't have enough Slammy Awards to give Roman Reigns for his courage, his sincerity, and what he has done for this company. Where they have don't have no Randy Orton. They have no edge. Right now, in my opinion, what him and Seth Rollins is going through is exactly what Shawn Michaels went through. He's in a stage of his career right now where they have to, it's best for business, people. It's just simply best for business that Roman Reigns is where he's at. Thank you, Jeffrey. The Noxer, the Noxers themselves, the Jetpack, it's just not a crew. They are a crew and an entity. But we're growing strong like a Chia pet, baby. Ch -ch 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 Chia, but not, 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 Nox. Please like, follow, subscribe. If all this time you're listening to us, guys, please do that. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers, not 5,000, not 100,000. We'll get there. Slow build, okay? I effed up my YouTube. You know what I'm saying? It's a new world. I'm freaking this back out now. It's like, follow, and subscribe. Don't listen to somebody else, but you can listen to the best, the one who's been here the longest. You want interviews? Okay, I'll make some phone calls if I got to. They got their own shows, right? You want to hear stories? Go to my YouTube page. They're there. Go into the archives of the old interviews. Uh, you've been there. You've done that. I've done it too. Go interview them. Before this thing was called what it is today, the Wrestling Marks of Excellence, Perfect Plex Talk Radio were ahead of the curve, Okay. Fox Sports Radio, 1340 AM. Fox Sports Radio, 96.9 uh, FM. Dr. D, Nephew Corey, Champ Creed, the Godfather himself, Glenn Thomas. It's just an entity. Wrestling fans, the DMV uh, uh, group. Shout out to Yup Wrestling. Shout out to the Jobber Tears podcast. All those groups that allow me to share these apps, uh, uh, my show in their, in their groups. Uh, the Chair Shot uh, hashtag. Use your head because you're listening to the intelligent show for the intelligent wrestling fan. Um, not to put Roman Reigns there and to say that he's a bad champion and he's this and he's that. I, I, I just personally, I just don't get it. That's just that's just me. I don't see how you cannot like this guy and what he's done, his accomplishments and what he's done. OK. Um, Will. Or can Roman Reigns retire wrestling with the belts if possibly so? No, I don't think no one should retire with the titles. Um, but if he did, 
damn. I think that would be even more to my point as the greatest champion of all time. And I did say possibly the, w, the greatest WWE superstar of all time. Here's the thing about life. No one will ever be able to tell me that the notorious B.I.G. is not the greatest rapper of all time. I don't give a damn about the numbers. Lyrically, no one can mess with Biggie Smalls. But I also understand business. In the words of the great leader of Murder, Inc. himself, Irv Gotti, think what you want to think about it, but this is a great point he made. I don't care what you're doing on the, on the R&B charts. What are you doing on the pop charts? That's where the money comes from. Roman Reigns is one of the highest grossing performers in this company's history. He's No, he's not HH yet. No, he's not Stone Cold yet because they're still making money from the company. But he has been doing it since the big dog. People want to fight me at WrestleMania. I've been a Roman Reigns fan since the beginning. Seth Rollins is great. Seth Rollins is this generation's Shawn Michaels. He's phenomenal in the ring. We put a thing about the comparison we had a couple weeks ago. And to me, in ring, Seth Rollins has it. On the mic, I'm going to Roman. Charisma, I'm going to Roman. Title reigns, I'm going to Roman. I'm giving Seth nothing but in ring over Roman. That's just me. Comment below. Let me know what you think. But to me, Roman Reigns in today's world is the best wrestler in the world. Every year, year in, year out. And to me, he has been for years. It's nothing new. I think he's been that great for years. Um, Double R music is the greatest interest theme of all time. <laughs> uh, Roman Reigns equals Disneyland. If, if you could go to Disneyland every day of the week, it wouldn't be as special. The main attractions, love that. He literally is what the, the shirt says, a needle mover. And guess what? As, as my man Phil, blah, blah, blah. I get it. You hate him. You're one of the reasons why, you know, that's out there in the world, not necessarily directly, but I know you're part of that not, not liking this guy. But what he, what, what Z is silent just said to me, really, ready to say it there. Um, and I'm going to say a little step further. Disneyland ain't better than Disney World, okay? Those other people were Disneyland. Roman Reigns is Disney World, okay? And there goes Charmaine. Ding dong. You're wrong. Seth is better than Roman. In the ring, that's all. Name a storyline that Seth Rollins has had better than Roman Reigns that did not involve Roman Reigns. I'll wait. I ain't got that much time left. I'm about to eat. But Seth Rollins has never been involved in a storyline better or even equal to Roman Reigns.